today I'm going to be doing the first video in my back to school series for this year. I know I'm kind of getting this series up a little bit late because some of you guys have already started, but I apologize for that. I've just, you guys know I've been really busy. I'm really excited for this video today because I actually did the same type of video last year in my back to school series and it got a lot of good feedback. So it's going to be a makeup starter kit video and I'm going to be focusing on middle school because I know for my audience, most of you guys, when I look at my YouTube statistics, <laughs> uh, my YouTube statistics, I can't talk today, most of you guys are actually in middle school, so I wanted to kind of make um, these videos appeal to you as much as I can. I know some of you guys are in high school, and this video is basically middle or high school kind of makeup starter kit just for, you know, if it's going to be the first year you're allowed to start wearing makeup, or if you just like want to start wearing makeup to school, I think this is going to help you out. Almost every product I'm going to talk about is from the drugstore, so they're pretty affordable and easily accessible and this video is actually going to be a collab video with one of my best YouTube friends so her name is Marissa and her channel is Marissa Lace if you guys haven't seen her before you will love her videos she's so bubbly and just happy and just a overall just amazing person and her videos are absolutely awesome she does beauty videos and vlogs she's going to be doing the same type of video as me but she's going to be doing it more catered towards high school maybe if you guys are in high school school you can go check out her video but definitely either way I think you should go check out her channel and her videos so I'm gonna leave her video that she's doing below and her channel below I love her you guys will love her too so please go check her out and subscribe because she's amazing this is just you know what I would wear if I was going back the f like in seventh sixth seventh or eighth grade you know whenever sometime in middle school and I just wanted the best of the best products that I could wear every day um, this is what I would pick not all of these were available when I was in middle school, but um, this is what I would pick, so I'm really excited. I hope this helps some of you guys out. Okay, so we're going to start off with the face. So it really just, this all depends on what you want to wear. If your skin is awesome and you don't need to wear foundation, then do not. Um, just you don't need to wear it but you know if you have some acne some redness some things that you want to cover up and you do want to wear a foundation this really is a great one it feels lightweight but it, it covers up what you need it to but it's not like a heavy foundation so what I love so much about this product this is the covergirl 3-in-1 stay fabulous foundation and why I love this product so much and would recommend it to you guys is because it's a primer foundation and concealer all in one so you don't have to buy a primer and a concealer because this really does cover up everything you need it to I use this every day I'm wearing it right now and I don't even need to use concealer other than under my eyes which I will talk about that product in a minute but I don't need to use concealer on my blemishes anymore because this really really does a great job of covering everything I need to up and just completely evening out my skin. So I would definitely recommend this. If you are very pale like me, I'm super pale. I wear, wear the lightest shade in this. It's called Ivory. But um, yeah, this is about 10-ish around their dollars and you can get it at Target, the drugstore, and I would definitely recommend it if you do want to wear some type of foundation. So as I was saying, that product does have, you know, concealer and everything in it. So um, other than that, for concealer, I really just use this one for under my eyes. Now again, if you don't need to use this, you totally don't need to go out and get it. But for me, I have discoloration under my eyes. I have to wear this like every single day because my under eyes are purple. They are literally purple. They're so discolored. I use this under my eyes every day, this under eye concealer, and it is the CoverGirl in LA Simply Ageless Eye Concealer. Don't let the Simply Ageless part, you know, be like, oh, is that for like old people? It just means that it's a moisturizing product, so it has concealer and moisturizer swirled in there, and I absolutely love this. Again, it's about $10 at the drugstore, and it's really, really awesome. It's the best under eye concealer I've found, and it does not crease on me at all, so that's what I love about it. So if you have that same problem like me, you know, from waking up really early from school every day, then you should check this out, and I wear the shade 205. I think it's the lightest shade, too, in this. Next product I have is actually two products in one. It is a bronzer and blush duo, and it's from e.l.f., and you can get e.l.f. at Target stores or online, and it's a really inexpensive makeup brand. Everything is either, I think, $1 or $3, and this product is $3 because it's two products. That's a really good deal for two products, and this works 
great. This is a blush and bronzer duo, and it also has a mirror there, so you could like keep this in your purse and just, you know, touch up when you need to. It's awesome. So it's just a really, you know, neutral, pretty peachy pink blush color, and then a bronzer that I think would work with pretty much every skin tone. I did not, I don't think I wore bronzer when I was in middle school. I did wear a little bit of blush, so this is a really nice blush color. Um, and then the bronzer is just nice to have for, you know, if you want to add a little bit of bronze to your face, but definitely don't go overboard on the bronzer. I would say just use a really, really light brush and maybe contour your cheekbones or, you know, I, I don't think, I wouldn't wear bronzer, I don't think, if to school if I was in middle school, but again, it's nice to have in um, your little palette here. So yeah, again, e.l.f., you can get that at Target. Moving on to eye makeup, and I just realized that I don't have a product that I would love to talk to you guys about. I literally just realized when I was looking at my eyeshadow palette that I'm going to talk to you about. But um, if you are going to wear eyeshadow, you should definitely, definitely, this is a mistake I made because I didn't know there was such a thing as eyeshadow primer, but you should definitely wear eyeshadow primer. And there's actually a great one by the brand e.l.f. that, again, you can get that brand at Target, and it's $1, and it's an eyelid primer. I think it's just called eyelid primer and it works really, really awesome. So definitely check that one out if you're going to be wearing eyeshadow for the first time and you don't have a primer. Also, L'Oreal makes one called Decrease. If you're just at the normal drugstore, not at Target, then L'Oreal Decrease. I think it's about $7 or something like that. So definitely get one of those if you're going to be wearing eyeshadow. Now on to the next product, which is um, eyeshadow. So I just, I know I talked about a lot of drugstore products in this video, but this, I think, is something that you can't really get something as awesome as this in the drugstore. It's just really everything you need. I've talked about this product so many times on my channel. It is the Naked Basics Palette by Urban Decay. It's about, I think, $27, but you get six eyeshadows in it, and this is just the perfect everyday look. They're really, really natural colors. Most of them are matte except this one right here. So what I would do with this palette if I was you guys, I love putting these two, uh, either mixed or um, just naked two, on my lid. And then I like to use a little teensy bit, because these are really pigmented colors, a little teensy bit of faint, um, or just naked two. That one's dark enough too. I'm um, in my crease above my lid. And then Crave is a pretty, pretty dark brown, almost black. So I don't really use that one a lot. I wouldn't wear this one to school probably. And then Foxy is really awesome for a highlight, which is, or WOS. Both of these are nice for a highlight. You just put that right under your brow bone. And then Venus, which is the color here with a little bit of shimmer, the only color with a little bit of shimmer, is awesome for the inner corners. I love, or you could put it on your lid, but I love, this is my favorite color in the palette, putting that a little bit on, just a teensy bit on my inner corners to brighten them up. So I definitely recommend this. This is definitely a great palette just because the colors are super, super natural, and you don't need to be doing anything, I mean, if you want to, go for it, but you don't need to be doing any, you know, like crazy looks for school. So I think this is really nice. Moving on to eyeliner I have a couple options the first is I am wearing this on my waterline right now I wear it pretty much every day and it's just a super natural eyeliner and it is a nude eyeliner because nude eyeliner um, really just brightens up your eyes and makes them look bigger and makes you look more awake so that's what's awesome about nude eyeliner it's just not so harsh I really went kind of crazy. I think this is the thing a lot of girls do when they're first starting out with eyeliner. You go crazy with this black eyeliner and it just looks too much and it just ends up looking like raccoon eyes and is an expression for it. So I would say start off with a nude eyeliner and if it's not enough I have another option here for you that's a little bit darker. But this is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Cole Cajal Eyeliner in the shade Nude. Long name, but pretty inexpensive. You can get it for uh, a couple dollars at the drugstore. And the next one, maybe if you're in, you know, 7th or 8th grade, um, and you just kind of want to have a little bit of a darker eyeliner. This isn't black, but it is a dark brown. And it's by Sigma, and you can't get Sigma at the drugstore, but you can get it online on their website. And uh, the reason I included it, because I think this eyeliner is $9, so it's a pretty affordable eyeliner. That's like a drugstore price. So this is the shade Balance and it is just a dark brown. So if you really want to do a dark liner on your waterline, I would say just 
just do the outer half because um, it can really make your eyes look smaller if you line your entire waterline. That's something I didn't know for a very long time and then when I discovered it was awesome to figure that out. Or you can put this a little bit, um, smudge it into your top lash line, but you know, just do whatever you want and what you think looks best on you. So this is what I would recommend for a little bit of a darker eyeliner look. And lastly for eyes, we cannot forget mascara. So I think you guys already know which one I'm going to talk about. The Great Lash Lots of Lashes. So amazing, so inexpensive, and it's just absolutely awesome. This is my favorite drugstore mascara, one of my favorite mascaras in general. I recommend it so, so, so much. I would say definitely mascara is like one of the first makeup items I started off with. I wore mascara from like sixth grade on. If you're looking to just do a couple makeup products, I think you should try out this mascara because mascara is one of those things that can really, really like change your entire look and just make you look so much more like awesome. And lastly, I just have a lip product. So this is the Revlon Lip Butter. I love these. They have so many shades of these to choose from and I would totally recommend if you want to wear something on your lips getting a Revlon Lip Butter. Um, this is the shade I have here and it's the shade I'm wearing right now on my lips. It's very, very natural. It's like an even lighter than my natural lip color. It's just like a light pe peachy pink. It's called Pink Lemonade and this is, I would say, it would be a really nice color to wear every day to school, but again, they have so many shades in these, so I would say just go and pick out one that you think would look best on you. Um, they have tons to choose from. They have more peachy colors and more pinky colors, more nudie colors, more reddy colors, just whatever you want to do. So yeah, this one again is in Pink Lemonade, but the Revlon Lip Butters are probably my favorite, some of my favorite lip products ever, and definitely my favorite from the drugstore. They are moisturizing, and they act as like a lip balm, a lipstick, and a lip gloss all in one, so you don't need to get all that stuff because they're moisturizing, but shiny at the same time, so that's just amazing. Okay, so that is my middle school or high school. It could really work for either makeup starter kit video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and that it helped you out. Again, you can find most of those products um, at your local drugstore or Target with the exception of the Naked Basics palette, which you can get at like Sephora or something. But again, you can you can get something like this at the drugstore. You can definitely find something. I just didn't have anything to show you that was similar to it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and it helped you out, I would love if you would give it a thumbs up and let me know what other back to school videos you want to see for this year. And don't forget to check out Marissa's high school makeup up starter kit video and her channel because she's amazing and I will have her links down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day or night and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! You say you want your